Okay, now, um, sorry about that. Kind of had to split the video there into a couple sections. Uh, you boob there, apparently. Uh, I just let you put a video on longer than 15 minutes, so we're going to have to cut it here. Okay. Now, I believe where I was at, I was basically about to show you the... I, I, you know what? Even before I get there, <laughs> that's why... That's why you should keep supporting me. I, I, you know, uh, you know. Hopefully, convince me to get a new camera. That'll probably help too. You know, because because now I have to kind of split it with like weird numbers and stuff like that. It it you won't understand. It's kind of weird. But anyways, so sorry about that. I gotta split it into two sections. But uh, I believe anyways where we left off was with the I was about to show you the attendant bowl. Okay. And I'll go ahead and just show you the differences again, because I know it's two different videos, but anyways. Alright, and remember, attendants are usually around, uh, I believe, what's that, 50,000 K? Uh, you know, but they can range, it can be as low as 40,000 or something like that, but... Anyways, here goes an attendant bulb. As you can see, blue, very blue, with a slight, maybe a slight hint of purple in there. Um, just like I was telling you, so, that's an attendant. Good for very deep water, salt water especially. Also makes your tank look nice. Alright. And then, and then that's your 10K. And of course, as you can see, that's pretty flat out white. Maybe a little tiny, tiny, tiny hint of blue. But, as you can see, a huge difference. And that's basically what this video is about. Showing you what color temperature is. Okay. And I believe I mentioned it in the first part is you can't compare two different totally two completely different bulbs in in an exact color temperature. There's gonna be differences. Um you know, like I believe the example what I use like a T eight or a T twelve against a metal highlight, it's gonna be, you know, a little bit different. And I'll actually show you an example of that uh by the end of this video. But um but usually you can compare, I don't know if I said this, usually you can compare stuff, like you can compare a T12 to a T8 to a T5, power compact, self-bousting, SHO bulbs. I mean, usually you can compare all those fluorescents. There might be a slight difference, but you shouldn't be too noticeable. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all you need to know about that. Um, of course, there's going to be some more stuff, stuff into, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, color temperature stuff, and I'll probably actually get into that in later videos. Um, this this whole lighting thing gets pretty complicated. A lot of it's just theory too, um, but it, it gets pretty complicated. But you'll, as I do other videos, I'll actually probably get into some of dip into the other little subjects as I dip into the main subject of that video, and you'll kind of see the whole picture. All right, um, you know it. I'll start explaining a little more in depth as as we go on here, um, but I'll pretty you know I'm going over basic stuff that you need to know and whatnot. Um, but anyways, I'll go ahead and show you a difference here, um, very very apparent difference that that's right here. Um, anyways, these are, this is like your average you know hood that comes with your average tanks. It's a single T8 or T12 bulb. Um, you know, it comes with like your standard Aquion or Marine Land hoods, um, and they're usually about 8,000 K, which is this. Uh, and as you can see, it's kind of, it's mostly white, has a little bit of a pinkish tint to it, alright? Now we're going to compare this to an LED. And this is an LED strip, has 12 LEDs in it. Um, each LED, uh, or I'm sorry, there are 8 LEDs in here. I'm, yeah, eight white LEDs in here, I'm sorry. Um, and it has four atinic, uh LEDs. Um, the white ones are uh, 8,000K. So they, the white ones are the same exact color temperature as this tank here. And you're going to see a huge difference between between those lights. Now it's going to be hard because, like, like I said, I already know that this, you know, I've seen the video before and... It's going to be hard to tell on the camera because there's blue lights in here too. But you'll see what I'm talking about. There's no hint of pink or even yellow or anything, okay? 
So we'll go ahead and plug this in. Okay. As you can see, that, that here, I'll, maybe you can see if I tilt it to the side. Um, as you can see, there is no hint of pink or even yellow whatsoever. It is completely white with that hint of blue in there. It's almost like a 10,000K bulb in a T8 or T5. See, so it's a little bit different. You know, like I said, it's not entirely different, but it's definitely different. Remember, this is the same exact color temperature as this tank behind me, the white ones are, so... As you can see, there's quite a bit of diff, you know, easily tell the difference. All right. All right. Yeah, so, 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 so just know that, you know, uh, pretty, I think it's a pretty important thing to know. So you don't go off on a limb like that. Maybe buy something by mistake, all right? Um... I guess that pretty much wraps up the the uh, color temperature show. Um, I mean, I pretty much you know showed you what it was. You know, kinds of energy that the light puts out, and and basically the color, of course. Um, basically, told you what's basically important about it. Um, I'll go over it again for freshwater planted tanks. I would do a 67k bulb or 6500k bulb. Um, a uh, 10,000 cable, that's probably the best combination cause I, for something like this because I know a lot of people get a lot of these high output dual T5 fixtures and that's a really good combination for that. Um, of course, you know, you can go with like a 6500K one and an antennic and it'll make your tank look nice. I mean, your plants won't grow as fast, but it works just fine. Um, or even a 10,000 antennic works just fine. I, I use it and I actually use that same combination in one of my tanks and it works just great. Um, uh, for salt water, you usually want to go a little bit higher. Now, of course, that depends how deep your tank is. Um, I mean, in usually salt water, like if I have a T5 fixture on one of my salt water tanks, I'm going to have, you know, multiple, at four or more at least, okay? You know, depending on the tank. So, G generally, you know, I usually have at least one 67k bulb, like a 6700k bulb. Like I said, remember, you gotta remember, all these plants are under the same sun, okay? Um, you know, if it's shallow enough, I'll go with a 67 or 6500k bulb. Um, you know, I usually go with a 10,000, almost no matter what, and usually go with a, you know, a 14 to 20,000, depending, and an antennic usually too as well. All right. Um, and those are just some general guidelines, of course. Um, you know, you can always go off and do your own thing, but those are just the basic things you need to know, you know, when prepping for that, all right? Um, uh, I guess that's about it, then. Uh, uh, thanks for the support, guys, lately. Um, uh, just keep on supporting me. Hopefully I'll get a new camera and maybe even see about getting longer videos up here so I don't have to do this and, uh, Making the videos more interesting, like I said in the first part, I'm going to try to get better at this video editing and uh, whatnot, alright? Alright, if, if you have any questions, just go ahead and mail me. Thanks for tuning in.